two, three, four. Grocery Sean is here, it's the hat of the year. And while we don't get up all the drops or goofy glasses, party shops or midnight kisses or champagne or all your standard New Year's perks like cool parades or days off work. But you know what? I'm not impressed. Because Dick Clark's Ryan Seacrest. Ah, you like that rhyme? Pretty weird. Okay, let's take it to annoying cynical lyricist man. Well, the rhyme was decent, but the scansion was just abominable. Okay, back to the song. For those who don't know what Rosh Hashanah is all about, I will show you so you can ask out any woman or man who really likes Rosh Hashanah. One, two, three, four. Every group of people likes to celebrate the new year and we have a lunar calendar so we make all your Year's resolutions in the autumn. It's really kind of arbitrary where you place your holidays but that's just tangent commentary. The average Christian goes to church twice a year in a Christmas and Easter by annual vow. It's a thing that makes you realize that we're one and the same cause the Jews have it too and it's happening right now. I'm feeling kind of guilty cause I'm doing it wrong. Instead of services I chose to write this song which you'll hope will end soon cause this melody's for the birds. Well hey it's three notes long so I can focus on the words. Here are a few of the traditions involved. So if you don't know, your ignorance will be solved. One, two, three, four. Life is tough, days can't be rough, and sometimes you hate it. I know that now because I've just graduated. So on Rosh Hashanah, we dip our apples in honey. They taste how life is sweet, it's not all about money. Also, there's a horny blow to wake up the people. Cause we all know in the scheme of things, a year long sleep will really halt your productivity. I don't have a shofar. So here's a crappy graphic, I'll pretend I blow for you. Leslie, I would like to say that Rosh Hashanah is not alone, there's one more holiday connected to it that I've gotta show. Yom Kippur is ten days later and is much more serious. Here we think of all we've done this wrong and deleterious. If Rosh Hashanah was Obama, Yom Kippur is next in line, Rodrigo could call our next commander by the name of Bernie Sanders. <gasps> Together these have nomenclature called the High Holy Days. Now you sort of know I'd wager really get all the phrases of these holidays educated in Jewish law. Poppies, kittens, pandas, we're in the days of aww. Now you can wish a happy new year to all. If you want to use Hebrew, say Shana Tova. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's the end. Hey, so that was super weird. Thanks for making it to the end. I do lots of stuff like that and lots of stuff not like that. So if you're into any of that, take a look at the old YouTube channel. Check out the old SoundCloud. Check out the old Facebook. And uh, happy Rosh Hashanah.